Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We've got Boba Fett, Throne Room from the Book of Boba Fett. Probably more so from The Mandalorian than Book of Boba Fett, because we didn't really see him in this outfit. Um, this is more or less from behind the, at the end of the uh, Mandalorian Season 2 with the little teaser at the end. Um, and also his appearance on Morak uh, in the second last episode with Bill Burr. Um, but yeah, still an excellent figure. This one is just starting to hit Maya stores here in Australia. So if you're a fellow Australian, check out your local Myers. Even check the website. They generally um, are pretty up to date with their um, locations. So you can scout out your local and see if they've got them in stock. Um, and yeah, I was lucky enough. I grabbed a couple. So I grabbed one just to keep box for the moment. Um, I'll wait and see if anyone's after one. If anyone's uh, hunting for one at any stage, um, yeah, that was the that was the price, sixty nine ninety nine. But uh, they just over the weekend they had buy two get them fifteen dollars off, um, so they only ended up being fifty five each, which is far better than seventy bucks. So um, yeah, I decided to grab two. Just I thought, well, for that price, you know, might might help someone out, might help someone out at some stage. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Um, but yeah, I do have an open one here, which I've been out taking some photos of this weekend. But yeah, just take a look at the box. You see he's number two, Fennec Shan being number one. Nice picture of Boba. This is probably my favourite look for Boba, to be honest. I, don't know, I just really love that sort of just solid colour, nicely repainted. Um, and even then, like I did the three and three quarter inch version of uh, Tatooine Boba from Book of Boba Fett and I really like that look too but this one there's just something about this that's really cool so let's get straight into it and talk about the figure I have him right here so I don't need to cut and edit and intersect and, and all that sort of stuff we can just get straight into it this time so this is nice so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and we'll get a good look now I don't have the Tython Boba Fett which we got just only a few months ago um, but obviously the head sculpt is going to be pretty much the same. There's not much going to be much difference there at all. Just excuse my camera, I've got it on a probably little stand here, but it'll do. So the head sculpt to me is exactly the same. Little little less sort of the, the sort of scar tissue and weathering and stuff that we're that we've seen um, on the Tython version of it. It's a little bit more beat up and scarred and um, this one is still not quite fully healed yet, but uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's, it's a really good look. Um, I'm really, I just, I don't know, there's something about the, the like neck collar sort of scarfing. I really love that look. I love the armor. I love the sort of the green, yellow, red on black. It's a really, it's not quite black. It's a really deep sort of chocolate brown. Um, this sort of undershirt. It's sort of a matte black, whereas sort of the sleeves, the trousers are an almost black. It's probably looking pretty black on camera here, just looking at my phone screen. Um, but yeah, it's it's more of a brown, but ever so close. But yeah, loving the details on this thing. It's really like, you know, he's repainted it, but has already had some small little chips and stuff taken out of it. Sort of painted over the dents roughly. He had another box of stickers in the slave one that he was able to apply over the armor for the uh, Mythosaur skull there. And also that little logo there. See so a yeah, really nice articulation as well. I love what they've done with the uh, hoses here. It's much improved. They're not going to snap like we've seen. Some in the past, some of the recent Mandalorians and Django Fett, you know, they're, they're prone to sort of snapping, whereas these are a nice flex. Nice joints, getting good angles, good posability of the wrists. Um, yeah, it's it's all good. just a good figure. I love the belt, love that sort of gold buckle. I think that's great. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom back out a fraction. We'll take a look at his accessories and we'll slowly build him together. So we'll start off, we have his newly repainted jetpack. Now, 
obviously they've just reused a sculpt from a, an OG Boba Fett, which is fine, but you don't get that sort of panel that's sort of stuck across there and it's been, it hasn't been painted over, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. It's going to be in his back, so you're not going to see it for the most part. But yeah, the nice sort of silver details. Um, love that nice sort of solid green. It also comes with a removable missile, so you can take that out and just sort of pegs in there nice and tightly. And spin it around. So yeah, you can pose him, you know, post-launch. But uh, I think we're all going to keep that rocket in there. I think it just looks so much better. Um, so yeah, that pegs into the back nicely. It's a little bit loose just because of the way they're doing the uh, sort of the outer armor suit is sort of a rubber and they've just got a sort of look very basic figure underneath they're using as a base and then just sort of building up around that with you know softer materials um, which is a great thing I really really love that it just uh, probably adds to the affordability of, of the molding and stuff like that as opposed to doing it all in like a solid plastic um, so yeah I may end up even gluing that in that's just what I do with my figures <laughs> So yeah, weapons, he comes with his pistol, which is nice, it's the one he uses on Tython, he's decided to continue its usage, really like the weathering and stuff on the uh, holster there, I think it looks good, that slots in there nicely, it's not going anywhere, it's a nice snug fit, which is good. We do have his... Blaster Rifle, and yeah, again, I can't remember the names. I know there's like the E33, but I'm not sure if it's this one. Um, but yeah, again, with the uh, details, it looks quite nice. So that's good. I'm going to have definitely have him posed up with this one. And I have had him posed up with this one so far. Yeah, I love the way he's just holding that, sort of just just holding that in there in his ribs, rib cage. He sort of certainly feels like the sort of the Western, the Western, the man in black sort of vibe. You know, gunslinger. Really like the look of this guy. He just, I don't know, there's just something about this Boba Fett that I love. And of course, last but not least, have his helmet which is really nice he's got the orange orange markings around the side which are apparently a dif different symbolism to the Mandalorians um, than the yellow he once had it's more about honoring his legacy um, something like that I can't remember but yeah nicely repainted looks good and, uh, yeah once it's on his head too Oh, before I do that, it's, uh, you know, we had the problem with the Return of the Jedi Fett where his helmet was also squashed up in the packaging. Well, this time, if I can shine a little bit of light and sort of look in there, there's a sort of a bit of black plastic in there. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but that is in there as a safe hole just to sort of keep that shape. And I think that's an absolutely remarkable thing that Hasbro sort of answered that issue from the return of the Jedi Boba Fett. And, uh, you know, for removable helmets particularly, needs to hold its shape. Because, um, yeah, that was that was a bit of an issue for a lot of people. It was an easy fix for a lot of us with, the, with that return of the Jedi Fett. But the fact that they've addressed that and uh, came up with a, a response to repair that, that's, that's, that's great for Hasbro. I think that's really good. Um, and just look at him, like, I don't know, there's just something about the, the black, it's it's iconic Boba Fett, it's awesome, um, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this figure, really looking forward to them doing a uh, book of Boba Fett, sort of, you know, his new outfit, I just did the uh, deluxe three and three quarter one, just look forward to seeing that in six inch, but there are... Not far away from releasing a sort of a battle damage version of this one, but a precursor to this one. So before he paints it, sort of that Tython look, I did just do a custom of one um, a few weeks ago using a couple of Bobas. But um, 
yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely be picking that one up. I like that sort of battle damage version from Tython. And uh, yeah, this one's looking just killer. So there is Boba Fett. Love to hear your thoughts. This is a really nice figure. Aesthetically pleasing. Still badass Boba. Still look fantastic. If you're going to improve on his original outfit in any way, it's more black. <laughs> but yeah, I love the way they've done the sort of the knee darts. They sort of tucked him in there under the trousers and yeah, the articulated boot, which is separate to that sort of knee joint. Really nicely done. You just, I, I'm yeah thrilled with this figure. Just, just awesome. So please send out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll stay tuned because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more Boba Fett figures. I'm just, just an inkling. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Stay tuned for some more videos. Got another one coming right up. Um, so yeah, until the next video, may the force be with you always.